This is my Kia Forte 5, the car that I leave behind when I pick up different vehicles to test each week. I bought it brand new about four years ago and it's only got 37,000 miles on it, but I racked up a lot of those on the highway and they took quite the toll on the original tires. So when Cooper offered us a set of their CS5 Ultra Touring tires to test, I jumped at the opportunity to put them through their paces. You know, when you're reviewing tires, it's easy to talk about how quiet a new set is versus an old set. And I know it sounds pretty cliche to discuss, but these things are impressively quiet, especially compared to the tires that I took off. And I'm not just talking about as they age. Right out of the gate, those things were reasonably quiet, but they weren't the greatest. These things absolutely blow them out of the water. I even had AutoGuide's features editor in the car and he commented on just how impressive this thing is compared to the way it was before. And you know, nobody's gonna accuse this generation of Forte of having the quietest cabin. It was built at that time that Kia was right on the cusp of what it is today, but it wasn't quite there. And had quite a bit of road noise and wind noise making its way inside. And these tires do a really nice job of hushing a lot of that and keeping it out. No, it's not perfectly quiet, but it's a lot better than it was before. As an all season tire, these CS5s have an asymmetrical tread pattern that help them work well in all different types of weather conditions. But they also have a few unique features that help set them apart from the average all season tire. And that includes tread wear indicators that are closer to the edge of the tire that make them a little bit easier to read and sipes that are cut a little bit deeper and more like a winter tire. Now how sipes work is they pull moisture away from the road surface when you're driving in rain or snow to give you that added traction you need. These things being cut deeper into the tire means these tires will have that added protection as the wear gets lower and lower. You know, the other three factors you want to weigh when looking at a new set of tires is how smooth they are, how much grip they offer, and how they do under braking. And on all three of those fronts, these CS5s are pretty good. When it comes to smoothness, there's not a whole lot of rolling resistance. No, it's not going to change the suspension at all, but you can feel the tires absorbing some of the bumps, some of the smaller cracks in the road, and they don't make their way up into the suspension and ultimately into the cabin. And when it comes to grip, these things are pretty impressive. No, this isn't some sort of grab happy sports car, but you can feel an added level of adhesion. We've been out here running the slalom all day and you definitely notice the grip, especially towards the outer limits. When you crank the wheel over, the tires don't want to break loose. They want to keep grabbing at the pavement and that's what you want. And the same goes for the braking. It's sort of part and parcel with that grip. There's no real difference in the 60 to zero braking times. It's about 140 feet or so, and that's what you want for this car. No, it's not as good as some of the newer cars on the market, but considering what this thing is, to have that level of confidence that you're gonna be able to stop, especially in poor conditions, rainy weather, if you need to make an evasive maneuver, you have that peace of mind that this is gonna be able to do it, and those tires are gonna be able to do away with most of the water that's on the road. When it comes to a commuter car like this Forte 5, there's no need to go out and spend a ton of money on performance tires when a set of all seasons like these Cooper CS5 Ultra Tourings will do. It's also important not to cheap out on new tires, but you also don't have to spend a fortune. And at about 80 to 100 bucks a piece, these things offer plenty of bang for your buck.